the objective of this activity is to understand the operation of multiplication of integers by playing a game so let's understand the concept first if the first integer a and the second integer b are assumed and let's assume that the first integer is positive and the second integer is positive then the product of the two integers will be positive plus and plus they give a result which is positive likewise if the first one is positive and the second is negative then the result will be negative even if one of them is negative the result will always be negative so if the first one is negative and second one is positive still the result will be negative but if the first integer is negative and the second integer is also negative then the product of those two integers will be positive let's take an example suppose you have the first integer as plus 8 and the second integer is plus 3 so when you are trying to multiply these two integers you don't need to worry about the sign two positives they produce a positive result and so 8 times 3 is 24 and that 24 will be positive but in case the first one that is 8 is positive and the second one that is 3 is negative you still multiply 8 times 3 which is 24 but this time since one of the integers is negative you get a negative 24 as the answer likewise if the first integer is negative and the second one is positive still the answer remains the same that is negative 24 if the first one is negative and the second one is also negative two negatives always make a positive product so the answer will be plus 24 remember if you have even number of negatives then the result will always be positive and if you have odd number of negatives being multiplied together the result will always be negative and that is the concept of this particular activity the material required to complete this activity are chart paper sketch pens two dice for the positive integers and two for the negative integers so let's see how this activity can be performed so in this activity on multiplication of integers you can see i have drawn a 11 by 7 grid and on that grid i have left out the last two cells and the first two cells here in the remaining cells i have written integers starting from 36 then moving down to 28 in this row then 27 and then moving down to 17 16 and then moving down to 6 5 and then 0 and then going into the negative integers minus 5 minus 6 up to minus 16 then the same process is repeated up to minus 36 so we have written the integers from 36 to minus 36 so what do we do with this grid this grid will be used uh, for a game which is to be played between two players using a dice as you can see i have taken a dice here and what is a player the first player going to do he is going to roll the dice so he is going to write the number and in the first chance this number 5 which we have obtained will be positive and likewise he will obtain another number like he obtained 6 here and therefore all the numbers which he obtained in the first turn the two numbers they will be multiplied and they will be considered as positive so plus 5 and plus 6 the product of these two is 30 so he marks a circle around 30 then in the second turn the same player he rolls the dice again and gets a 4 which will be considered as positive and then rolls it again he gets a 1 so he consider the second throw as negative so he'll multiply the positive and the negative integer to get minus 4 minus 4 means he has to bring down this value like 30 and minus 4 means come 4 steps down to 1, 2, 3, 4. So he will come to 26 because 30 minus 4 is 26. In the third attempt, he will take the first throw as negative. 
so minus 6 here and then the second throw as positive so minus 6 into plus 1 is minus 6 and so he has to come 6 steps down further from 26 so he reaches 20 so he puts a circle here in the fourth throw he gets a 5 and then he rolls the dice again and gets a 4 now the number he obtains is plus 20 and therefore he has to move 20 steps up so when he moves 20 steps up he gets 20 plus 20 which is 40 and that number is beyond 36 so in the fourth step the person the first player reaches a number above 36 likewise the second player will start his turn so he gets a 6 which which is uh, taken as positive and in the second throw he gets a 4 so he starts with 24 6 4 is a 24 here so i'll put a square here in the second turn 2 is taken as positive and the second throw 6 is taken as negative so this is minus 12 so he has to come 12 steps down from 24 that gets him to 12 in the third throw he gets a 6 so that will be considered as negative and the second throw 4 which will be considered as positive so this is minus 24 so he has to come 24 steps down from 12 which gets him to minus 12 and in the final throw he has to consider both of them as negative so minus 2 here and a minus 2 again which is plus 4 and plus 4 means minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8 so he reaches minus 8 the first player reached a number beyond 36 and the second player reached a number minus 8 which one is the greater one of them player a gets the greater number and therefore player a becomes the winner so that completes our activity on multiplication of integers